Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully complete our logout part, right? So now in this video, I want to change our default breeze uh, form. I want to replace it with our theme form. Okay, that is our register page. So now that is our theme as auth register.html. Okay, so now first of all, I want to done to find out our main file. As I told you before, what exactly that located. Simply go to, right now we don't need this. Simply go to our view right so that will be in our view page area that means in our resources into the resources if you go to that view and with the view there is a auth and that is our register blade now i want to do and replace it okay so by default that is actually all the field in here now i want to replace our theme one so if you want to replace it by the theme then we have to find out our theme as auth register.html simply go to our back in folder that is our back in theme and that is on the auth you can see there's the auth logging and there is an auth register now first of all i want to do and to open with the sublink text editor i simply open it and by default one here i will actually replace everything just like that same better i copy it i copy it and then i want to open it and i save it okay so that will be needed i want to take everything from to this position i show you like there is our auth register auth register.html i simply copy everything and now in our register blade here i want to do and to paste it okay i simply paste it right now we don't need this html first of all i want to do i want to update our all that css i want to update that name as a register register admin okay register admin i simply updated as a register admin that will be actually our title title will be updated and our asset will be the same procedure actually i copy it and then the asset then there is also the asset 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 sorry asset and then asset one the same procedure okay so simply updated that asset into the back in folder then that is our asset images icon i cut it i paste it then there is a bootstrap mean css i cut it and then paste it same as in here paste it also i cut it and then paste it okay friend i hope you already remember that part there is a public folder then the back end then there is our asset file great and now also i want to update the same things for our js file that have also some of the js but i want to copy it again and then i simply select it pressing by the control then that will be all selected at a time paste it which is totally fine now i want to update that js cut it and then i paste it i simply cut it and then paste it again i cut it and then that will be back in the set then that will be as a back in the set also i want to update back in asset okay i simply update great now our js file is updated and also our css file is updated and also i updated the title okay friend now if you go hmm, you can see that have also on the form the form is started and form is ended in here but i want to make it as a little bit by pressing that um, shift shift tab i want to make it a little bit left side now from our default one i want to actually update okay so that is actually our default one here that is on the field as a name and name field so into this area we need that actually id we need that our type and also we need that our name so that is the three field will be needed so now in our register into the register first field as the email right now first of all i want to do to check it that is our one of the dev you can see dev is started dev is ended i want to copy it and then i want to do to paste it okay so first of all in our here a form will be needed better i copy that total form i copy this form and in our register I, here i paste it so that will be the same only i want to don't add that our class i simply cut it and i want to update this class okay so right now we don't need this so that is our form and that is our form one of that class that means our theme class our method will be as a post and action will be as a route register so i take it simply from our default one okay friend and then that is our csrf token will be needed our first field our first field as a name right i want to do and to take one of the id id will be as a name i simply because that is on the input field here as i told you we need that our id 
id i name it as a name type i make it as a text type and then also we need another one type and then the name i simply copy it and then here i want to do after that i name it as a name and our placeholder placeholder will be as a name i name it as a name i name it as a name and then that's all better i copy it and then again i paste it okay i simply paste it so our another field another field will be as a username i copy it now that will be as an id i name it as a username type will be as a text type name will be as a username and our placeholder will be as a username user name okay username great and then our another one better i copy that total dev i copy it and then that will be our another one after that username then that will be the email right i copy it now that will be our id how much easy it is you can see there is only id will be needed type for the email i want to make it as an email type okay that will be the email type and name will be needed i simply name it as a name and our placeholder will be displayed as email okay it will be displayed as email great and then the password for the password um, for the password our id will be needed type will be needed and name will be needed i copy it now that will be better i copy it okay i copy it and then i paste it because that is the same things now our name our name i name it id will be as a password so our id will be as a password type will be as a password type name i name it as a password placeholder will be as a password okay perfect so i hope it's very clear so only our id the type and the name is important okay so now i simply update and now there is our another one mm, after that after that there is also another one as a confirm password right now i want to do I want to take another field i copy it and after that i paste it so that will be another one our id as a password confirmation i copy it so then that will be as a password confirmation type will be as a password type name i name it here Mm, that is a name actually you can see there is the same name as a password confirmation i name it as a password confirmation placeholder i make it as a password confirmation okay i make it as password confirmation so that will be as a password great so now that is all that our field and then accept that uh, terms and condition we don't need this i simply remove this level that is the input field also i don't need this input field okay i remove it and then there is a register button register button here mm, there is another submit type okay so then that will be the submit type great great friend that's all you have to do okay so that's all you have to do our register is updated if you now click as a save okay save it mm, now first of all i want to check it that is our default one now i want to refresh it Mm, you can see it's not successful updated and one of the image is missing uh, in our register page there have also one of the image maybe there is a back end images here you can see there is one of the images so i want to update that image i copy it then that will be our image i simply paste it so asset and then png i cut it and then paste it and then again i cut it and then i paste it now our image will be display with a save now refresh it yeah you can see it's not successfully display that message so first of all i also want to do and to check it okay here also we have to validate our mail so i want to make it with the mail trip because i have already set up that things like that way right now if you go now go to that main box i want to make it as a clean all that messages now i want to register with our new user okay here first of all i want to refresh it i name new one as a test okay test and our username i make it as a test and then test at the rate gmail.com and you do me one two three four five you do me one two three four five okay so now if everything okay it should be registered now click as a register register here you can see it's not successfully registered okay that means this user is now successfully registered 
and if you also want to check it in our database if you go to that our user table and into this user you can see now there is a new user as a name email as a test at the red gmail.com password and also username as a test right that means our register part is successfully working so now if you get the logout and now if you access that register or i have already updated our theme register page great in our next video i want to do like here i want to put one of the route if you want to put that route that is in our register page into the register page um, register page here here that is also one of the link but i want to put another route here okay simply put that route and that means the default route as a or logging route okay so i want to do and put that as a logging logging route now that that will be reducted to a logging page sorry right now you don't need this i have already updated the same things from to this position i hope you get that idea now click as a, i close it now click as a save all now if you refresh okay if you refresh now if you go to that account here it's now redirected to a logging page okay friend so in our next video i want to update our logging page okay here i want to replace with our theme uh, theme logging page that is our auth logging dot html here i want to do to apply so right now we don't need this i simply close it okay close it and also you can see there is a verification mail is uh, available for the our address so i want to do to verify it simply open it now that is a verified here we have to do have to logging okay so i want to do uh, better right now we don't need this that is our logging auth logging i want to update in here so how can do this work in our next video i will show you that things with a live example so thanks for watching i will see you in the next video